In this presentation we are going to look at the lin space function in Octave. Now, what does it do? The lin space uh, function creates a vector of evenly, or in other words, linearly spaced values. Linearly, that gives the name linearly spaced. Okay, so the usage is as follows. Lin space, and then we have three arguments. So start value, the first value, uh, stop value, the last value, and also an optional argument called length. And this is optional and it specifies the number of values that is to be returned in the uh, vector. So if you leave this, para the default value is essentially 100. So, uh, okay, so let's have a look at that in Octave. So let's go to Octave now. So, first off, lin space, uh, we'll just do 1 to 10. And we'll have 5 values, okay. Uh, there we go. Now, just so I, you have to sort of watch out for the fact that, you know, you won't necessarily get integers, even though you might be expecting them. Uh, let's try that out with 9. There we go. And 10. So you get integers there. Okay, it actually, just a remark, it includes the upper and lower bounds. So it's a bit, it includes the stop value, and the start value, and the stop value. So what I'm going to do now is clear the screen for a second, and we'll just try it without the length function whoops and there we go we're gonna get a whole page of output now there we go so I'm just gonna scroll down here to the bottom there we go so you get all the um, uh, values all the values there uh, so that's quite a, a lot in it's, it's really sort of the outputs not pretty uh, not very readable although it's a uh, useful for checking so uh, 1 to 99, I call that x, oops, there we go, and clear the screen, length, size of x, there we are. So it's got 100 values in it. Okay, that's the end of the presentation.